Hello, Scorpions. Wow. Hello, hello. Scorpions, this is the Taurus season. I want to say to a lot of you, thank you for being here. Thank you for being back, Scorpions. Um, this season um, is going to be helping a lot of you, Scorpion, out. Um, you are in the season of your opposite um, sign, okay? So you are in the season of the Taurus season. It is the opposite sign, and this is going to be absolutely fabulous, especially for scorpions that is going through a whole lot of issues and a whole lot of problem. Remember that this is for business people, um, people who are being affected by certain issues and situations in your life. This is the work and a business reading. Scorpions, 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 I do love you. I do love you guys and I'm so happy um, that we are going, you're going to be getting some sort of a help for your opposite sign, the Taurus. So Scorpion, a lot of you, if you're looking for relationships, go and search of the Tauruses, okay? That is your opposite sign. And uh, Tauruses and you Scorpions are good partnership, whether in business or in romance, Um. That is a good part now, especially for business. Business relationship, this is the direction that you should take. All right, let's get in your reading, Scorpion. It looks uh, beautiful. There was a whole lot of um, conflicts with, um, with your financial stability. Um, this could be having with a whole lot of conflicts around you at the work floor. A lot of you were dealing with a lot of people who... Um, had their own agenda. A lot of you were getting fights. Um, people coming at you and a whole lot of fights um, where a lot of competition against you, Scorpion. And now um, you are now recognizing that, you know, you are having this competition because you're good at what you do. And uh, uh, you know, competition can be good, but on the another um, another way, a competition can just create chaos. And for a lot of you, you feel as if you were um, people were just creating a whole lot of chaos around you and having competition. And I see that some of you, Scorpion, just recognize that you know it is because of jealousy. It is because of people recognize that I have and has been doing something really good. So I see a lot of you are going to be, um, you know, so um, really happy um, that this competition is over. Uh, some of you could have started a new job in the week of the 20th of April. Uh, until the 26th, you could have uh, started some sort of a new job and um, people were trying to create some sort of a competition around you and, uh, and, you know, creating a whole lot of chaos and that sort of a thing. And I see that a whole lot of you is definitely going to be recognizing this and uh, putting this uh, to the, um, the test to show people that, you know, I'm aware of what I'm doing. So it's a lot of you that has been getting some sort of a fight or some sort of a it coming at you because people um, were competing or trying to compete against you and you stood your grounds. And this is absolutely, absolutely fabulous because you stood your grounds and show people that, you know, I, I am aware of... Uh, you know, the situation, because Saturn in Leo, a lot of you, Scorpion, were dealing with a lot of competition. And um, you, Scorpion, stood your ground and decide there is no way that I am going down because I'm going to be bringing back balance at the workplace around me. I'm going to bring back discipline in my department. I'm going to be standing my ground against a Leo who tries to overgone my position. And I see that this is going to be absolutely fabulous. This is going to be absolutely fabulous because it's as, it's as if a lot of you decide no way. No way, this is not happening. You know, you're not going to be 
um, walking over me. You're not going to be, I'm not going to be working hard and you're taking my glory because this is not how it's going to be turning out and how I expected to create my wealth and you just take it. You know, that's not how it's going to be. Um, and you are going to be letting um, them know. So this is going to be a really positive positive situation because a lot of you are going to be standing up to a Leo and standing up to some sort of a conflict and, 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 and taking back your powers. You're going to be really taking back your powers in a wonderful way. And that is going to be good. All right, let's move on to the second week. The week um, is May, April 27th till May 3rd. The second week, again, we see some sort of a secrecy about a Libran. So you Tauruses, uh, sorry, uh, Scorpion, in the Taurus season, you're going to be finding out some secrecy that a Libran was holding against you. A lot of information is going to be coming out about a Libran at the work floor and how a Libran as basically had some sort of use you as Scorpion, you know, and you Scorpion are going to be recognizing our Libran used you. And I see a lot of you Scorpion is going to be releasing yourself and releasing the secrets of this Libran because a lot of you um, Scorpion is going to be recognizing how far a Libran has gone and on and how a Libran has really used you to climb and the career ladder. So it is not going to be um, a easy, a easy um, a phase of time for you, Scorpion, because whatever is transpiring, a lot of you, Scorpion, is going to be feel felt used by a Libran and recognizing that this Libran as a so called corporate in order to use you to get to where they needed to go. And I see some of you are not going to be really happy about what this person have done. This, this is a situation where a lot of you are going to be recognizing, you know, you friend me in order um, to get um, to this position. And I see that the energy of this Taurus season is going to be, uh, you know, release this information to you um, and it's a situation that some of you, Scorpion, has been working with this Libran for a very long time. And this Libran has been competing with you. And it's as if the universe is saying, hey, Scorpion, um, wake up. Wake up and smell the coffee. Look, the person who you think has your back doesn't have your back. They're using you as a ladder, climbing their a career ladder using you. So wake up, wake up. So a lot of you are going to be recognizing how a... A Libran basically used you to get to where they wanted to be. Are you going to be happy? Is it a happy moment? No, it's not. But um, you are now going to be recognizing, you know, people are who they are, but you're going to be taking back your power. And that is going to be the most wonderful situation because you are going to be taking back your power and recognizing. It's as if the universe had to say, Libran, um, um, Scorpion, wake up. Scorpion, wake up. Um, and as uh, the universe gets you in a position um, and you recognizing, you know, the flow of what is transpiring, you're going to be making a huge significant role when it comes up uh, um, to work, business and career. And that is going to be bringing you stability, financial stability. Then we're looking at the third week, and the third week has to do, um, it is May 4th until May 10th. The third week is going to be a very busy week. It's going to be a very, very busy week. And I, a lot of you um, who were having some sort of a conflicts, uh, uh, conflicts with a Libran and a Leo, this is now over because you're focusing on your work. And it is as if, you know, people, um, you know, do whatever you will. I no longer want to. Uh, collaborate with you people or get in uh, whatever you know mess you have created for yourself and people are now going to be recognizing why a Leo and a Libran have created some sort of a huge conflict and it's as if you Scorpions are like Jesus I am so happy that I recognize these two people 
I'm so happy that I recognize that these two people were just competing against me. It was just a form of competition. And I see a whole lot of you Scorpions is going to be recognizing um, how, you know, people uh, kind of use you to climb the ladder or they needed you to help them um, to move forward. Okay. Or they have used you to help them to get some sort of a status and a connection. And I see a lot of you, Scorpion, is just going to be looking at these people as if, you know, wow, wow. And the thing about it is that you, Scorpions, whatever these two had created and the com the conflicts and the competition that they um, were carrying towards you, you, Scorpions, are going to be like, you know, people... I have no time for this. It's about making money. So this is a year where um, you Scorpions are not going to be afraid of competition. You're not going to be afraid of, uh, um, you know, any uh, communication that is coming at you. It's as if you Scorpions is aware that, you know, you are creating and you are doing your best by creating some sort of a, a strong foundation, financial foundation for yourself and really um, accelerating, um, in your career fields, moving the ladder. A lot of you are going to be thinking about going to study something and uh, starting to work for yourself. So the third week is going to be absolutely, the third week and the fourth week is going to be your sweet week and it's going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous. Okay. It is going to be hard work. It's going to be a whole lot of work, but this work, whole, um, a lot of work that you have is going to be bringing you financial satisfaction. All right, let's move on to the last week. The last week is May 11th until May 20th. Now, as I said, Scorpion, the Taurus is, is your opposite sign and the Taurus is coming in in the sport week and it is um the... Uh, six of uh, pentacles is uh, some sort of a secrecy. Um, and this is what I said to you, um, guys, some sort of a secrecy. The Taurus is going to be re revealing some sort of a secrecy to you, Scorpions, that you, Scorpions, were not aware of. And this secrets that they're revealing to you is going to be bringing you um, some sort of a balance in your world. And this is going to be absolutely wonderful because the Tauruses are going to be basically helping you to resolve some sort of a situation and uh, um, helping you and showing you up. Because if you notice, you had the sun in Virgo, the sun in Virgo, and this is really, really positive, that a Virgo person is going to be... Um, a lot of you, if you have a boss that is a Virgo, you're going to be recognizing what this Virgo boss have done and that this Virgo boss was creating some sort of a competition against you. And I see that you, Scorpions, is going to be recognizing because it's as if a Virgo trying to create some sort of a competition and complexful situation and you, Scorpion, had pull in and got it on time. You recognize what this Virgo was doing or some of you who have a Virgo boss is going to be recognizing that a Virgo boss used you in order to create some sort of a career start or stability for themselves. And I see um, that you're going to be taking back this power. You're taking back this power and you're going to be showing up um, this person and uh, letting people recognize that, you know, I was um, someone that was, uh, um, uh, and you're going to expose this Virgo. So you Scorpions are really, it's as if you have uh, um, a situation where you are going to be really exposing this Virgo. So um, a Taurus uh, is going to be letting a lot of you Scorpions in some sort of a secrecy. And whoever this Virgo is, they're going to be recognizing that the Virgo tried to create some sort of a competition with you or try to create some sort of a chaos um, at the workplace. Maybe this is your boss. Maybe this is a colleague or what. But a Virgo, a Leo, and a Libran use you to get um, their business or um, their career uh, pumping. And a Taurus is going to be saying, hey, hey, hello, Scorpion. You got to look at this. Scorpion, 
you get a look at this um, because you scorpion is not aware of what is happening scorpions i need you to wake up scorpions there is going to be some sort of a um, wake up call for you scorpions because you gotta recognize that this leo this librin and this virgo have created a mess for you okay so it's about a wake-up call it's about the wake-up call it's about your um your spirit guides is awakening you and showing you that scorpion you have a potential to grow but these are the people that is holding you back these are the people that is uh, um crushing your financial flow you gotta be aware of this so um a taurus is going to be really touching you on your shoulder scorpion and alert you as what is going on and i see that this taurus is going to be protecting you and having your back because this taurus is going to tell you who a virgo is and what a virgo does okay and um this taurus is going to be kind of removing you or creating ways to get you um, out of the midst of this Virgo because the store is recognized uh, um, it is not a healthy position because you have no idea who is this so it could be another boss recognizing your potential and recognizing that a Virgo person had not the right intentions for you and it's going to be saying hey you know let's have lunch and by having lunch, the Taurus is going to be alerting you of who your Virgo boss is and the connection with the Virgo and the Libran. And uh, that a Leo is also there that was creating a whole lot of imbalance. So Scorpions, you know, whatever they do to you guys, I, I, this Taurus season is where your opposite signs is going to be helping you to sustain financial stability in your world and this is going to be good i do love you guys i gotta go remember to thumbs up use the link below in order to choose any one of these symbols you can choose any amount you can watch all of them um there is a message for you on how to deal with the situations that is going to be coming up um, between April 20th and May 20th, which is the Taurus season, and it is the energy of the second house. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, expect life to change for you in a very wonderful way. I gotta go. Show your love by share, 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 thumbs up. I love you guys. Namaste.